So where are we here? This is Klager Merigert, or Ballentumboy Cemetery, Dalfrigert, Glen Morrison. About this spot here, there was a, a baptismal font. It was quite a small hollow in a rock of that size, in a bowl. And there was reputed to be always water in it. Well, it rained a lot anyway, so it pretty seldom. I, I, there, were, there was always water in it anyway. Somewhere down here. But in their wisdom, the cemetery department has tidied everything up and buried it. There still might be the evidence of the cover that was on it down well, over that here. Well, like the cover of it, that two or three stones there. And there, was, there was originally a single stone, but you can see it was broken into three parts. Just two remaining, it looks like a, a, the remains of a millstone. Mm -hmm. yeah. So, wh uh, where did this uh, font come from? Well, Is that from the there. time of Merchard, perhaps? St. Merchard, bless this place, he had a cell here. And uh, it was somewhere in the middle of the churchyard there. And there was, beside it, there was a stone, rather like a small fence post, uh, supposed to be where the bell was set. It fitted over the top of this. It's a um, square section bell. Made of bronze, probably. Well, I've seen one like it, made of iron. Okay. Without a tongue in it. This bell was supposed to ring miraculously before a, 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 before a funeral. And it was also supposed to be able to return to its place in the cemetery here, if it's ever removed. So when was it here until? Well, uh, rather more than a hundred years ago. Well, no, a little bit more than a hundred years ago. It was. Somebody tested its uh, powers by throwing it into the river. Aye, it was supposed to be able to float. Aye, so it, it hasn't, didn't float or it didn't come back. So, uh, St. Merchard. Who, who was this guy who threw it in the river? His name was Garrow. And he's supposed to have lived in forests in later years. And Willock the blacksmith met him there. So Willock died 20 years ago, say. An old man, and he met Garrow when he was an old man. And when was the... what happened to the... The stone the bell was rested on. Well, it tidied up as well. Thrown out. Thrown out. And, and buried. Right, it's a very neat cemetery now, but uh, all it's got left is gravestones and nothing of tremendous historical value. It's all gone. In the far uh, corner of the cemetery, there are several graves there. You'll notice that all the graves here are facing to the east. Aye. This one for facing to the west, because they want to... And do, uh, wh where are these gravestones? Are they still standing? Over the back. I'd, well, go and have a look. Aye. But you notice all the graves are facing east. Aye. But that one's facing west towards Corridor. At the, at the resurrection, you see, they would rise up and see Corridor. So these were... These were men from Corridor, were they? They were from Corridor. So they thought that much of the place that they'd rather right, see that, Corridor than the... Uh... Corridor was heaven. Ah. And uh, when were they buried there then? Oh, well, more than a hundred years ago. Mm. 